So now with the transition flight behind us, it lets the team focus on our Cabaret X7 full-scale program. We're already building in many of those parts and components, and we get to build test rigs, validate those parts, before finally getting a piloted full-scale demonstrator in the air. The key thing next uh, in the short term is probably start having a look at all the, the major components that are going on the large aircraft, like wing fans, uh, cover motion things that, that make it all work. So we're looking, gonna develop those first. We got a, a test cell to get the fan going, get some air flowing through that and see if it's really gonna give us what we expect. The team has many more systems to work out at a higher standard of safety. While we have a remotely piloted half-scale demonstrator with a really successful transition flight, uh, to prove that same technology again with a, a pilot inside is going to be an amazing opportunity, but we want to do it right. Well, this, this is obviously a, a huge step towards the full-scale build. Um, obviously, some of the technologies on this craft will have to expand, you know, have to be sized up for the full-scale aircraft. But the reality is that a lot of the, the sort of more challenging parts of the design at least have some validation on this 50% scale aircraft. The approach is correct. The approach has merit to it. And so when you start designing things for the full scale aircraft, you can draw on some of the successes here. Granted, not everything scales linearly. You have to be cautious of it, but it's great to have at least a small scale proven prototype that you can then draw inspiration from and draw some design details from when you start scaling up to the larger aircraft.